Hello and welcome to another lecture from History of Journalism at Temple University. I wanted to give you a brief overview of a newspaper timeline and I'll be doing these for the various media that we take a look at. Um, so just to start out, in terms of the United States, um, the first U.S. newspaper, but in before the Revolutionary War, was in 1690, uh, public occurrences both foreign and domestic. In 1704, the first regularly published newspaper um, in the United States, the Boston Newsletter, begins. In 1765, Britain passes the Stamp Act, and you may rec remember this from your high school days, but essentially what the Stamp Act did is that it placed a tax on various written materials, including newspapers, which increased the cost of newspapers and was one thing that, uh, that the leaders of the uh, American Revolution fought against. In 1833, Benjamin Day's The New York Sun sold newspapers for about one penny rather than six cents. Now, that may not sound like a big deal today, but six cents was about the cost of a bottle of whiskey. And so the change from six cents to one cent essentially made newspapers much more available to common people um, and a much wider circulation and actually boosted the importance of the, uh, the newspapers of the day from the elite to the common man. In 1896, uh, Adolph Ox buys the New York Times, uh, which continues today, obviously. In 1898, uh, William Randolph Hearst, The Journal, and uh, Joseph Pulitzer's uh, The New York World helped to create intervention in the Spanish-American War. This was the period of so-called yellow journalism, um, and it was named after a comic strip, The Yellow Kid. And uh, we tend to think of yellow journalism as a very negative connotation today uh, and, you know, as sensationalistic and, and bombastic. And to a certain extent, there were those characteristics back then, but there was also some great journalism that occurred during that time. And we'll read two of the authors, uh, uh, Richard Harding Davis and Stephen Crane, uh, who were great journalists, uh, no matter what time they uh, would have written in. In 1905, Richard Senstaki Abbott started the, the Chicago Defender, which was the first uh, African-American newspaper of note um, in the United States. In 1928, the New York Daily News, which continues today, secretly photographed the execution of Ruth Snyder. Um, she was the first w woman to die in the electric chair, and she was, uh, that was kind of a key event in, in what's called jazz journalism, the tabloids uh, of the day, which emphasized more graphics and photographs, that type of thing. In 1982, USA Today began operation. At the time, it was rather, uh, it was uh, um, controversial. It was called the McNewspaper of McDonald's. It was, you know, uh, fast food, uh, uh, high, high, you know, high caloric value, uh, and and was really, you know, denigrated for a long time. But now has become a national newspaper by the Gannett Corporation. And in 1999, the Orem, Utah County Journal began the first online-only daily news publication. So that just gives you a, a pretty much brief overview of some of the important events in terms of newspapers in the United States. And that's what we have for today. Thanks very much, and we'll see you online.